friends, and welcome to InfoCloud. I'm happy to introduce this month's special guest and Studio Classroom teacher, John. Welcome, John. Thank you, Rex. Now, I should warn you, I'm a bit of a party animal. Well, that's perfect because today's phrase is party animal. Can you explain to our audience what it means to be a party animal? If you're a party animal, you're a very outgoing person who enjoys parties and social activities. Exactly. For example, if a person has a strong personality and enjoys talking with others, they may be a party animal. Right. Whereas if somebody is quiet and likes to blend in at parties or gatherings, they're not a party animal. Okay, now let's try putting party animal into a couple of practice sentences. Hmm. For example, uh, Sarah is a real party animal. She likes to dance all night. Good one, John. Or Jack is struggling to fit in socially. He never has been a real party animal. Do we have time for one more example of party animal, Rex? Yeah, one more ought to do it. If you're a party animal, be a responsible party animal. Party on, friends. 每个人的个性不同,有些人比较内向,也有一些人是人来疯。尽量跟大家介绍的用语是 party animal. Party是派对,animal是动物. Party animal就是热爱狂欢的人. 这种人非常外向,喜欢社交,认识新朋友,在派对或社交场合中相当活跃。基本上就是典型的人来疯. Sarah danced all night because she's a party animal. Sarah整个晚上都在跳舞,因为她是人来疯. 虽然有些很安静的人也会参加舞会或是派对, 但是他们不能够算是party animal, 因为他们太过于内向, 可能整个晚上都坐在位子上面不讲话。这就是今天的InfoCloud,我们下次云端见。